So I wanted to give a <clears throat> specific uh, extra example for least common multiple. That's what LCM stands for, or common denominator. Um, they really are synonymous. So uh, since we're talking about fractions, let's uh, take a, an example of fraction addition where we have 2 6 plus 4 15 and we want to find the denominator between 6 and 15. So again, the least common multiple of 6 15 is going to be the same as the common denominator of uh, 6 and 15. Actually, I should add an L here because it's, it's a least common denominator. <laughs> Okay, there's two ways of doing this. Um, so um, Roman number one addresses the first way of doing it. So we have two numbers here, 6 and 15, the denominator of the two fractions. And uh, if we take the bigger of the two, 15, and we start multiplying it up, 15 times 1 is 15. Does 6 divide by 15? 6 is the other uh, denominator. Does 6 divide 15 evenly? No, it does not. So we'll try 15 times 2. 15 times 2 is 30. Um, 6 does divide into 30. And so I stop there and I take 30 as the LCM. <clears throat> so that's the first way of uh, finding the LCM between uh, two numbers. Um, the second way, <clears throat> which is um, more methodical and more general, is to uh, prime um, factor each of the two um, numbers. Um, so 6 is 2 times 3 <coughs> um, and 15 is 3 times 5. And the LCM is then it's going to have um, each factor type is going to be in the LCM. And so if you look at 6 and 15, there has to be a 2 in there because there's a 2 and 6. There has to be a 3 in there because if there's a 3 and 6. And there has to be a 5 in there since there's a 5 and 15. Um, and the maximum number of 2s between um, these two is 1. The maximum number of 3s between these two is, is 1. There's only one 3 here and only one 3 here. And the maximum number of 5s is 1, so it's essentially the LCM is 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30, the same number we got with uh, Roman numeral 1. So, <clears throat> since 30 is the common denominator, we will convert 2 sixths to 30 by multiplying by 5 over 5 and uh, getting 10 over 30. And we will convert 4 fifteenths to 30 <clears throat> by multiplying by 2 over 2, which converts 415 to 8 over 30. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> then the sum of these two fractions is obtained by by simply adding the two numerators together. They, they have the same denominator now, 18 over 30. And to convert this to reduce this 18 over 30 to lowest terms, we can um, factor 18 as 2 times 9, which is 2 times 3 times 3 and 30, which is um, 3 times 10, which is 3 times 2 times 5, and then cancel the common factors 2, 2, 3, 3, and conclude <clears throat> that the sum of these two factors is 3 fifths.